The 17th Math Heuristic Units and Parts Method Before we look at the units and parts method, we have to understand this. When moving a number, or unit, from one side of the equation to the other, the sign changes. For example, from positive to negative, or from negative to positive. In this example, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 2 equals 5 minus 3, when we move the positive 3 from the left-hand side of the equation to the right-hand side, the sign changes from positive to negative. Three equals five minus two. Two minus five equals negative three. Two equals six divided by three. 3 equals 6 divided by 2. There are 35 pupils in a class. 4 fifths of the boys and 1 third of the girls wear glasses. The number of girls who do not wear glasses is 6 more than the number of boys who do not wear glasses. How many girls are there in the class? As the number of boys is not the same as the number of girls, we use units, to represent the boys, and parts, to represent the girls. There are five units of boys in total and three parts of girls in total. Of the five units of boys, four units of them wear glasses. Hence, the number of boys who do not wear glasses is one unit. 5 minus 4 equals 1. Of the three parts of girls, one part of them wear glasses. Hence, the number of girls who do not wear glasses is two parts. 3 minus 1 equals 2. 5 units plus 3 parts equals 35. The number of girls without glasses is 6 more than the number of boys without glasses. Girls without glasses is 2p. Boys without glasses is 1u. Therefore, 2p equals 1u plus 6. To find p, eliminate the u. How? By making u the same. Ten P equals five U plus thirty. Ten P minus thirty equals five U. Ten P minus thirty plus three P equals thirty five. Thirteen P equals thirty five plus thirty, which is sixty five. One P equals five. Three P equals five times three, which is fifteen. There are fifteen girls. A baker baked 200 curry puffs and sardine puffs all together. One third of the curry puffs and two fifths of the sardine puffs were sold. 
the ratio of the number of curry puffs to the number of sardine puffs in the end were 5 to 3. How many curry puffs did the baker bake? We use units to represent the curry puffs and parts to represent the sardine puffs. There are three units of curry puffs in total and five parts of sardine puffs in total. Of the three units of curry puffs, one unit of them was sold. Hence, the number of curry puffs that were unsold is two units. 3 minus 1 equals 2. Of the five parts of sardine puffs, two parts of them were sold. Hence, the number of sardine puffs that were unsold is three parts. Five minus two equals three. Three units plus five parts equals two hundred. The ratio of unsold curry puffs to unsold sardine puffs is 5 to 3. Unsold curry puffs is 2U. Unsold sardine puffs is 3P. Since unsold sardine puffs is 3P, unsold curry puffs would be 5P. Two U equals five P. Replace the five P with two U. Three U plus two U equals two hundred. Five U equals two hundred. One U equals forty. Three U equals one hundred and twenty. The baker baked one hundred and twenty curry puffs. There were forty six boys and girls in a school hall. One fifth of the boys and one quarter of the girls left the school hall. In the end, the number of girls who remained in the school hall was half that of the number of boys who remained. How many boys left the school hall? We use units to represent the boys and parts to represent the girls. There are five units of boys and four parts of girls in total. One unit of boys left the hall. Hence, four units of boys remained. 5u minus 1u equals 4u. One part of girls left the hall. Hence, three parts of girls remained. 4p minus 1p equals 3p. Five u plus 4p equals 46. Four units of boys and three parts of girls remained. The number of girls who remained in the school hall was half that of the number of boys who remained. 4 units equals 3 parts times 2, which is 6 parts. To find you, eliminate P. How? By replacing P with you. Since 6p equals 4u, 4p equals 8 over 3u.
5 u plus 4 p, which is also 8 over 3, u, is 46. Twenty three over three U equals forty six. One U equals six. Six boys left the school hall. Thank you very much for watching our video. If you find this video useful, please help to like and share it. Do subscribe to our channel if you have not done so.